that was the hardest thing I had to to stomach is that my child harmed and killed other people. Jennifer Crumbly takes the stand and testifies before the jury that will determine whether she goes to prison for involuntary manslaughter. Crumbly has spent the last two years in the Oakland County Jail tied to the deadly Oxford High School shooting her son committed. After a week, the prosecution calling 21 witnesses. They rested their case this afternoon. Moments later, Jennifer Crumbly's attorney called her first witness, and it was Jennifer. For the first time, we hear from Jennifer Crumley, the first parent ever charged for the acts her son committed. In this case, the deadly Oxford High School shooting. Defense attorney Shannon Smith using pictures from Crumley's Facebook page to show how they spent time as a family. Also showing in the last few years, her pictures on social media became more about her horses. Over the last couple years more, um, it was hard getting a picture of my son when he's, as he got older. He didn't like me taking pictures of him. But yeah, over between 2020 up until 20, end of 21, um, there was a lot of pictures of horses. This is the first time Jennifer Crumbly has had the chance to share her side of what the prosecution painted as disturbing text messages between the shooter and his parents. Jennifer on the witness stand saying that they were often sarcastic as a family. And you see that there's a demon throwing bowls and things like that. Now looking back, do you think, oh my gosh, he had mental issues? No. What do you think was going on? Just what I said, that it was just him messing around. It only, he, only, he only did it when we weren't at home and it was for a short period of time and then I think he got bored. Throughout the last two years, the prosecution has used court hearings to demonstrate the shooter showed signs of needing help and his parents did not do anything. But Jennifer Crumbly testifies she didn't believe there was any need for professional help. There's a couple of times where Ethan has expressed anxiety over taking tests. Um, anxiety about what he was going to do after high school, whether it was college, uh, military. So he expressed those, those concerns to me, um, but not, not to a level where I felt he needed to go see a psychiatrist or a mental health professional right away, no. On November 30th, 2021, the day the shooting happened, James and Jennifer Crumley met with school officials and their son after disturbing drawings were found on the shooter's math assignment. Ultimately, the Crumbleys deciding to leave their son at school and not take him home. Within hours of that meeting, their son would kill four students and injure seven other people while traumatizing the entire high school. I've asked myself if I would have done anything differently and I wouldn't have. <coughs> If you could change what happened, would you? Oh, absolutely. I wish he would have killed us instead. Jennifer Crumbly will be back on the stand tomorrow morning for cross-examination by the prosecution. Her defense attorney says they will talk about who else they plan to call to the witness stand.